Some are forced into this mm-hmm. because of situations out of their control. South Broad, you, you can see yourselves or your contractor ought to be uh, an ally or a bridge between yep. the homeowner and the insurance company. The homeowner might say, "I don't know what a what a sink base thirty is. I don't know what I don't know what type of flooring I had." And you'll you'll take care of it. Yep. You'll you'll communicate those things. If welcome to the Keeping It Broad podcast, the show that explores the fascinating world of home improvement and renovation. Join hosts James Carlosi, Tim Pesh, and Mark DeLucia as they share their expertise and insights on the latest trends, products, and their involvement in the industry and community. Let's get into this week's episode. We're going to start this week with a story, and I'm interested to, uh, to hear your feedback on this. And uh, here it goes. Um, a couple in Connecticut experienced a situation where a portion of their first floor ceiling collapsed and water was pouring onto the floor below. Upon further inspection, it was determined that a water line from the sink to the refrigerator broke, causing water to leak for an undetermined amount of time, revealing mold buildup and subsequent damage to the upstairs kitchen cabinets, flooring, sheetrock, insulation, and downstairs flooring. A mitigation team was sent over by the insurance company, and now the homeowners have no cabinets, no sink, and no flooring. The couple had no intention on taking on a full renovation, and between the usual busyness of life and chronic health issues, this seemed like an unavoidable disaster. And we, James, it we um, sounds a lot, Tim. By having a lot, a lot, Tim. By far, we, you know, our clientele or customers are are folks that are planning to do a renovation. But some are forced into this mm-hmm. because of situations out of their control. Um, Similar to this story, this happens to be a true story. What's the first thing that you do? I mean, call the insurance. What do you do? Yeah, obviously, yeah, you got to call the insurance and, and get a, a team out there and, and start that process mitigation, go through that. Um, the, the process is very stressful for, in my experience, that from the, the homeowner itself, it's especially if one that's not that was going to be expected. Like oh. it was like, oh, six months from now, we planned on doing our renovation yeah. anyway. So yeah, I guess we could just start going it a Kick little things bit sooner, together. right? Yeah. Some people, it's just completely off guard, and you can't. You just have to address it. You have to go through yep. it. Um, it's a process. It, it's it's a long process. Um, dealing with the insurance companies. Um, I guess Tim, in a, in a perfect world, would be if you could, if you could just go through and do the reno- renovation, have the money up front and do it yeah. and then go to the insurance company afterward that would make it go probably much more smoothly right. but right true most people don't necessarily have the kitchen renovation funding to do it and you know things happen life like you said yep. goes on yeah um it, it's hard it's it's very hard i mean to start off with you you'd have to ad- address what's what's going on so i mean most of the time, it's usually water damage, mitigation, things that have to get done. And, and water has, uh, it, it's notorious for destroying a lot of things that you can't even see. So you have to bring in a professional, you know, to come in and take a look at what's going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the mitigation. The mitigation is going to come in. They're going to, they're gonna, you know, sometimes cut out sheetrock, take a look, expose everything wherever it looks like there was water damage. Um, and see, you know, where where they can, you know, get things out, dry out for mildew, and mildew, all that stuff. Yeah, it's because um, essentially you want to get that out of the house yeah. just for health reasons right. and all that. You want to give yourself a clean slate. That's not something that South Broad would do. You get right. that out of the situation first. Right, right. That's that's the, that's the first step, and then it would be a matter of um, calling us or your contractor um, to come out and and start analyzing and figuring out what needs to get done yeah. having an idea although the process um for for whatever has happened you still need to go through and see what you're going to change out you still need to right. get raw numbers on what it's going to be before you even start really talking to the insurance company about that you have to see where it's going to be for for whatever it is um and then eventually the insurance company is going to come in and they're going to say well here's what we have for uh, numbers for you and right, right. 99 times out of 100 it's nowhere near what the actual cost is to replace and do stuff now 
you know, for for the insurance company, you could have older cabinets and there's a certain yeah. depreciation that everything has. If you haven't done any upgrades in a while, then there's a certain level of what it is. But that starts the process of uh, people realize how expensive you know, kitchen renovations can be. And if you had not planned it, yeah. it's hard to get, you know, numbers together and get things going. You probably that. feel like you have no ally, that you're all alone. You mm -hmm. got the insurance company using terms that you never thought you'd have to, you know, you probably need an encyclopedia because of the technicalities and the, the law. And if not being in the business, you don't even know half of these things. You don't know the type of cabinets you probably right. had. You don't know what you, um, do you, uh, you know, many times the insurance company will recommend a contractor. Yep, sure. Uh, you're not forced to nope, use them. Not you, at all. Right? The you homeowner has freedom. 100%. You could use whoever you want to do whatever you want. Yep. I mean, again, we've always talked about due diligence. Make sure whoever you bring in, yeah. they're going to do what they need to do to make sure. Again, when you have water damage, there are areas that you might not even have thought that water had mitigated its way into. And although the mitigation company ripped out a certain area, there might be more that needs to get done. Well, that's a question you know, as well. Regarding the more. So um, you are not obligated, like you said, 99% you know, of the time, the, 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 the actuality in the first quote is different. You are not obligated to go with that, with that number the insurance company gives you. Sometimes that's almost a starting point. Point. Right. I mean, it's it's usually it's not even it's they they've done their their they've sent in their their person to come and take yep. a look at what it is their adjuster to come see what it is and uh, there might have been areas that they didn't know that eventually yep. you have to address. Yep. Um, sometimes it's it's oh well you know you have a, the the one that we were talking about there was a, a kitchen that you know flooded down yeah. and they only gave credit to one wall on it but the you couldn't see behind the other wall yep. that it had mitigated its way through. So that wall had to come out. So there's, there's always an additional, um, there's always additional amounts that you could always add to it. You go back to the insurance company and get it. Yep. The, the frustrating part, I think for homeowners that I've seen is, is that it is a process and you have to, they, they want it to be written in a certain language yep. that they understand True. so that you can, you can get credit. So when a homeowner is doing it themselves, they might not be, I might not be on it and know all the details and particulars yep. on how it needs to be worded for that where, right. you know, South Broad, we do it pretty regularly. We've, you know, we have a pretty good gist of that. To that, so, so it, you know, the homeowner makes the call, the mitigation team is sent in, and let's say, okay, James, South Broad Paint Home Center, South Broad Kitchen and Bath, you guys are my guys. You're going to go forward. You talk to the insurance company. You guys, you, you yeah. as in South Broad. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so the, the homeowner can, you know, they, they usually get documentation of exactly what they're getting yep. for the value of the, the things that are getting replaced. That's useful to your contractor, to South sure. Broad, to whoever's going to do it because then they could say, okay, here's where it is yep. and here's areas they may have missed, right. you know, of, right. of, of certain ones. Insurance companies, um, they they want to they want to have the process try to get done as fast as possible. Yeah. But they're human, just like everybody yeah. else, and they may not see yep. things that you see, yep. you know, for what it is. And you have to make sure that you take pictures, document everything, send everything over. Say, oh well, you had this amount of flooring; you were going to just cut this yeah. out, but we need to replace it because it goes all the way into the hallway. We can't find that product. And Connecticut is a replace state. Speak on that for a second. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So repair and replace. You said the magic word, repair. Right. Uh, repair and replace. So what does that what does that mean? It's specific to the state of Connecticut. I had an existing. Uh, cabinets that let's say were no the old cathedral look cabinets yep uh, no longer to be re replicated what does the state statute say for Connecticut so it, most of the time it's you have to replace it exactly and if you cannot then everything that's a part of that needs to be replaced yep and that all has to be written up you know in a certain way to even make if sure it wasn't it damaged gets, even if it wasn't damaged because they don't want you to have um, base cabinets that are one color or an off shade and they go up Connecticut says that no they all have to uniformly match up so that's um, that's where it is and sometimes that's hard because you might have an agent from an insurance company that comes from Pennsylvania that might not have a replaced state so true. they don't even write it up as that it's they true. they they may fly in come take a look at you know what's going on and they don't they don't have that in their state, so they didn't even think to look at it yeah. or you know whatnot. So you have to have somebody that knows a little bit about what's going on, you know, as well. That law was designated to protect the consumer, or something. Yeah, they yeah. want to make sure you're getting Absolutely. what was put back. Uh, listen, it's something that is uh, often unforeseen, uh, but something that you have not 
not seen before. <laughs> so uh, dealing with the insurance and mitigation and doing the repair and replace portion of this is just another way where South Broad Paint Home Center, South Broad Kitchen and Bath can be an asset to you. Come see James and the team here in Wallingford. Happy to happy to help. Sorry maybe about your situation, but you are Stressful. not alone. Stressful. You are not alone. Thanks, Tim. For James Colosi, I'm Tim Page. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Stay now.